Hi everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. It's with great pleasure today that I introduced a new cigar to the McAuliffe lineup. This is the Migdalia, named very honorably for Migdalia Sanchez. She is the matriarch of the family. She's an incredible woman. I had the opportunity to meet her last year during IPCPR where she actually made me um, a very special cigar that I actually haven't smoked yet because it's like I said, it's special. She hand rolled it, um, you know, for me, and I, it was such a beautiful gift that I have it sitting in my humidor, and I'm waiting for hopefully a chance to meet with her again, where I can light up that cigar and enjoy it with her. But back to the cigar itself, as I mentioned, it's named for Migdalia, and what's really special about this cigar, as opposed to probably any other cigar out there on the market, is not only is it named after Migdalia, who has a an extensive history in tobacco she actually graduated at age 17 from the tobacco university in havana and began her career that way and just since then has really just blown up i mean she makes cigars she hand rolls everything and not only does she hand roll them but she actually blended this cigar and what a treat i mean being a woman in this industry it's definitely more men, uh, to be honest with all of you. I think most of you already know that. So to meet another female, um, a completely different side of things, obviously I don't make cigars, I review them, but to meet another female that is very strong. And again, not only does she just, is it named after her and it's her family, but she's actually blending them. So it's really a treat uh, for me and hopefully for all of you to get a chance to smoke this. Now, what's nice about this stick is it's small enough that you can enjoy it in the morning real quick with a cup of coffee. Um, afternoon if you have a short break or even in the evenings if you don't have you know an hour and a half to two hours to dedicate to a cigar this is perfect it's about a 35 45 minute cigar depending on how fast you smoke and uh, 4 by 46 on the size so taking a closer look it is featuring a San Andres Havano wrapper a Sumatra binder and a Nicaraguan and Dominican filler all the tobacco in this cigar has been aged for a minimum of four years before it's even rolled. And then once it's rolled, it actually sits for a minimum of one year before it comes out um, for all of us to smoke it. So very thorough on the aging process, on the rolling process, on everything that goes into this cigar. Of course, they are made um, in their factory in Nicaragua. And again, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and light up this beautiful cigar. So the pre-lit draw, you actually get a little bit of a dried cherry kind of flavor to it. It is a little bit firmer on the, on the feel to it. Um, not hard, just a nice firm pack to it. Very nice. The wrapper is very pretty, nice color to it. Not a lot of oil sheen, but just um, kind of just that natural um, tobacco oils that are coming out of it. But again, it's more of a, of a matte type of a finish versus that super oily. And what's really nice is on the inside of the box um, beside me here of her cigar, there's a beautiful picture. As I mentioned, she's a beautiful woman inside and out. Um, this picture that's in the box is actually a photo of her from, I believe, 1963, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 1963. And um, having met her just last year, as I mentioned, she's a beautiful woman, so she looks the same. <laughs> she really does. She's, you know, quite a person, and I was really honored to get a chance to meet with her and, and talk with her. So that was just such a bonus. Wow, that lights up just nice. Beautiful aroma right away, very welcoming, very inviting. The flavoring is a combination of a toasted white bread and a little bit of a graham cracker. So the hint of a sweetness, not, not super sweet, just a little bit of that hint that you get from a graham cracker, kind of uh, reminiscent on that. And then the aroma is more of that toasted bread 
there's almost a hint, it sounds very funny, but there's almost a hint in the aroma of a marshmallow sweetness, just a little bit of it. Through the retro, you pick up a little bit more of the spice. Um, a combination of a couple different things on that spice, you get a little bit of a muted cayenne pepper, slightly, not, not a whole lot, just a little piece of it, and a little bit of cinnamon. Both of those spices are kind of mixed in, and that's pretty much the flavors that I'm getting right at, you know, initially a couple puffs in, but of course, as always, I'm gonna smoke this down and check back in with you guys probably about halfway through. So coming back in about the halfway point on the Migdalia, the flavors um, are surprisingly complex for a cigar, you know, of this size, which is uh, very impressive. The construction's great. It's putting out a nice amount of smoke, very aromatic, still very welcoming. Um, love that aroma that it's giving out. Similar to what it was in the, in the initial part of the cigar, it kind of has that toasted bread type of, a, of a aroma to it. Flavor-wise, it's picking up more of the baking spices, so little bits of nutmeg. I'm picking up some anise in here. Um, a hint of a coffee bean, kind of subtle, but you can definitely pick that up, and there's a slight nuttiness, and the smoke itself is surprisingly creamy. So really good. Um, there's still a nice amount of spice. It's somewhat muted. It's a controlled spice, I guess you could say. So nothing, none of those flavors are overpowering any of the others. They're just kind of all working together. And that spice that I mentioned is definitely um, the cinnamon coming through. There was a little bit of that cayenne red type of a pepper on the retro hill in the beginning. And now in the middle portion, I'm not tasting any of that type of pepper, just the cinnamon. So really nice, about medium on the, on the strength and about medium to full on the body. So really um, very enjoyable. And again, for being such a small smoke, it's producing just a lot of complexity, great flavor, uh, really enjoying it. So I'm gonna continue to smoke it down a little bit more and I'll check back in when it's down to the nub. <laughs> Stay tuned. So coming in again on the final little bit here on the Migdalia cigar, a nice amount of flavors. It was, again, surprisingly complex for the size. Towards this last little bit, uh, I will point out that one, it's even though I'm down to like the last little bit here and I tend to be a faster smoker, so I'm kind of at that 40 minute mark on this one, it's actually not burning hot, which is again, another, another plus because the last thing you want, especially on a smaller cigar is if it starts to heat up on you, that's you know not never a good thing. So this one does not do that, which is great. But the amount of flavor that you get and the transitions that are there, even again on that smaller size, this last third has brought out um, some surprising flavors. I'm actually picking up, in addition to the little bit of coffee that was there, there's actually a mix of kind of an herbal uh, chamomile, if you will, a hint of mint, uh, slight, but you can pick that up, as well as a little bit of the cedar that's kind of underlying. That spice that was there in the beginning and the middle, that cinnamon type of a spice is not really there anymore. In fact, most of the spice has pretty much gone out and it, you're really, you're left with those different flavors that I mentioned, the coffee, that chamomile, that little bit of a mint. There's a slight amount of, um, of a woodsy, you know, again, that cedar mixed with a little bit of that coffee. So those kind of all those flavors sift, uh, shifting back and forth, but again, very impressive for a cigar of this size. And really it's been a very enjoyable smoke, one that I encourage all of you to try. Of course, I always encourage you guys to try all the cigars that I smoke because taste is very subjective. But what I will point out is that the construction is just spot on. Burn line is perfect. The ash is very solid without being too tight. I mean, the draw has been really nice. The aroma is beautiful um, throughout the entire stick. So really, I do encourage you guys to try this one. And as always, I welcome your feedback. I love hearing from you guys, all the comments. And if you do want to learn more about where you can find the cigar or more about the company, you can check out McAuliffe Cigars on their website, and they'll be able to tell you and direct you where you could find a cigar in your area. So look forward to hearing from all of you guys. And thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.